Dear students, now we are going to discuss RF mixer and its types in detail. Let's start with the definition. Mixer is a three-port non-linear device. It is mainly used to mix two signals with different frequencies to produce a new signal. So here the two inputs are RF signal and the local oscillator signal. So here at the output side, the signal consists of the sum of the frequencies and the difference of the frequencies. So based on the applications, we can select either sum or difference of the frequencies. So this is the symbol of mixer. Mixer performs multiplication of the two input signals. Hence, the symbol is multiplier. Okay. So here it is mainly used to convert the signal from one frequency to another one. So mixer is an important element widely used in all RF and microwave systems. So in both transmitter and receiver side. So next operating principle of mixer. So as I told you mixer performs the multiplication operation of two input signals to produce the intermediate frequency signal. So here the input is the RF signal. The signal can be represented as VRF sin omega RF T. So here the oscillator signal is VLO sin omega LO T. So this two can be multiplied and the output is given as intermediate frequency range VRF sin omega RF T into VLO sin omega LO T. So here mixer is driven by this fixed frequency of the local oscillator. So if you are going to multiply these two input signals then we can get VRF VLO by 2 that is the magnitude and cos of omega RF minus omega L naught minus cos of omega RF plus omega L naught. So this represents the difference frequency. This is the sum of the frequencies. Okay. So here we can represent the signal like this. So with the magnitude of this value, we can get one as a sum value, another as a difference value. So in between we can have one more signal that is called as image frequency. Okay. So image frequency signal, it has to be rejected. That will be discussed later. Okay. The mixer output consists of the sum of the frequencies as well as the difference of the input frequencies. Okay. So here we can have two operations. One is up conversion. The next one is down conversion. So based on the applications we can select either up conversion or down conversion operation. So here the up conversion is used in the transmitter side to transmit the RF signal to a longer distance. Down conversion is widely used in the receiver side, especially in the super heterodyne receiver. Up conversion. So here we are going to give the intermediate frequency signal that is the source signal. So we are going to transmit the signal to a longer distance. In that case, we have to increase the signal frequency. So for that, we have to mix up the input signal with some fixed frequency range. So here local oscillator is used to generate the fixed frequency. So we have to fix the frequency level. Okay. So then the mixer is going to mix these two signals and give the combination of both sum and different frequencies at the output side. So we want to transmit the up converted signal for that we can use filter after this mixer. Okay. Then the up converted signal is given to this amplifier to amplify the signal strength and then the transmitting antenna is going to transmit the signal to a longer distance. Do you all understand this concept? So here up conversion is very important at the transmitter side. So in this process the input is the low frequency IF signal, output is the desired high frequency RF signal. So because we are using transmitting antenna, so we need to have high frequency radio frequency signal. Okay, so here we can select the sum of the frequencies. 
So it provides an efficient power transmission at the transmitter side. So next one is down conversion. So this down conversion is widely used in the receiver side. So it is the front end of this receiver. So we are going to receive the signal from this receiving antenna. We can get a high frequency signal. It has to be given to this low noise amplifier. Low noise amplifier is used to amplify the signal without degrading the signal to noise ratio. So here it is very important. So low noise amplifier is used at the receiver side. Then the received high frequency signal is given to the mixer. So here mixer can act as a down converter. So we want to get the original intermediate frequency signal which is sent at the transmitter side. So for that we have to select a local oscillator which will produce the frequency range that is similar to the transmitter fixer range. So here we are going to mix up this two signal. At the output side we can have sum of the frequencies and difference of the frequencies. So here we can use the filter to filter the signal and allow only the different signal. So that will be the desired intermediate frequency signal. Do you all understand this down conversion process? When a mixer is used as down converter, the difference frequency is utilized and high frequency signal is rejected using filter. So we can get the desired intermediate frequency using this down converter. So here this down conversion is widely used in super heterodyne receiver to receive the desired IF signal with low noise quality. So for this low noise quality we are using low noise amplifier okay so next important characteristics of this mixer first one is image rejection that image frequency is very important concept so when we are having that mixer output we can have high frequency signal and the difference frequency signal in between we'll be having the image frequency signal so it has to be rejected using filters okay so next Conversion gain or conversion loss, isolation, 1 dB compression, noise figure. So, these all are the parameters to define the performance of the mixer. So, the first one is conversion gain. So, it is defined as the ratio of the IF output power to the available RF input power. Simply, we can say output to input. That is the gain of the mixer. So here we can have the typical value as minus 10 dB or 1 by pi squared value for better performance. Okay. So here the conversion gain degrades at large input signal level due to the non-linearity. So this point is very important. So if we are going to provide a very high input signal, definitely the conversion gain is getting affected. Okay, because of the non-linearity property of the diode. Next one is 1 dB compression. So it is very important parameter in the mixer to make the mixer as a linear one. So in case of linearity property, if I am going to increase the input by 1 dB, then the output will also be increased by 1 dB. This is for linear condition. If I am going to increase the input by 10 dB, the output will also be increased by 10 dB. But this is applicable only for linear device. But mixer is a non-linear device. If we are going to increase this input as large one, definitely the same change will not be there at the output side due to non-linearity. Okay, so here in mixer, when the input power is too large, 1 dB, 1 dB relationship does not exist. So we have to make the RF mixer as a linear one for the better performance. For that we have to ensure that 1 dB compression is needed. So that is the input power needed to increase only the conversion loss by 1 dB. Okay, so this is very important concept. 1 dB compression is a measure of linearity of 
or a mixer. Okay. The next one is isolation. So isolation means the ratio of available power from the source to the power dissipated in the load. Okay. So that is the isolation. The desired isolation is achieved by using mixer balance circuit. Okay. So we have to use the balance circuit to provide the proper isolation. Its typical value is 15 to 25 dB. Okay. So the next one is noise figure. So here noise figure is the ratio of input signal to noise ratio to the output signal to noise ratio. Conversion loss means it is the ratio of the average input power to the output power at load. Okay. So it is simply inversely proportional to the conversion gain. So the next one is types of RF mixers. So here we can have single ender diode mixer, single balanced mixer and double balanced mixer. Single ender diode mixer is also called as unbalanced mixer. So because we are going to use only one diode, so here it provides non-linearity. So that is unbalanced mixer. Okay. Next, single ended diode mixer. In this, a single diode is used. So here, the RF input signal and the local oscillator signal, both are combined in this diplexer, that is the mixer circuit. So here, the combined output, that is the mixer output is given to this diode. Here, the diode is biased with DC voltage. Okay. So here we are going to block the DC content from this signal from mixer. For that we can use capacitors. Okay. So capacitor is going to block the DC content in the signal. Okay. Then we are using the low pass filter to allow the intermediate frequency signals. So finally we can get IF output. So this is the circuit for down conversion. Okay. So we are using low pass filter. It allows only the intermediate frequency range that is the different signal. Okay. So this is the AC equivalent circuit for this single ended diode. So here we are having two voltage sources. One is for input RF signal. The next one is for local oscillator. The non-linear element that is diode here. So here we can have the load resistor across which we can take the output. So this single ended diode is also called as unbalanced mixer because only one nonlinear diode is used. Do you all understand this concept? So at the output side we can get the desired intermediate frequency signal. So this is the general expression that is VRF of T. That is input signal is nothing but the magnitude VRF cos omega R of T. Here the local oscillator is VLO of T is equal to VLO cos omega LO T. Then the current through the low resistor is given as IO plus GD of VRF of T plus VLO of T plus GD dash by 2 of this value the whole square it is going on. So the next value may be GD double dash by 2 of this value the whole power 3. It is going on like that. So here this IO represents the DC bias current, it will be blocked by using the capacitors. The second term represents the combination of the two input signals as such. So it will be filtered using low pass filter. And here we are having the several new signal components with different frequency ranges. So from this we can select the desired IF signal. Okay. The last one is balanced mixer. So here we are going to use two single ended mixer. That means two diodes with a hybrid junction to provide the balance. Okay.